So now I'm going to show you how to build a data connection today in the dashboard. So the first thing I need to do is log in as uh, the admin user. So I put my credentials in admin and I put my password in, hit log in. The first thing I need to do is access the configuration screen. And I do that via the little spanner in the top right hand corner of the screen up there. So if I hit that, a new browser tab will open and it'll automatically log me into the dashboard. And then when this loads, I just need to click on the configuration tab. And then I need to hover over the data connection in the object list. And when I hover over there, you can see that I've got these two extra icons. And this is the one I need to press. This will create me a new data connection. So I'll just press that button now. The first thing I need to do is I need to give the data connection a name. Now I'm just going to call this one test. I then need to tell it what type of database I'm going to talk to. If I scroll down, I'm going to talk to a SQL Server one. I need to tell it who I'm going to log into the database as. So I have a SQL Server user that I've created called Dashboard. Put the password in for my Dashboard user. I need to tell it which database I want to talk to. Uh, in this case, I'm going to talk to one called Demo Environment. And then I need to tell it, well, which server is the database on? So it lives on a server called PanSQL. We're using the default port, so I won't change that. But if you're using something different, then you'll need to put that in here. And if you're using uh, SQL Server instances, you can put the instance name on this bit there. Once you've filled in those details, if you press the little disk icon in the top left hand side, it goes blue at the top, which indicates that everything was successful. And I've got a little green tick just up there that's telling me that everything's okay and I can start building my data model.